Hello, this is Sienna. Welcome to another video. Today we're doing a, well, it, we're doing a different video today. Um, yeah, I basically wanted to talk about something, as you can probably tell from the title of this video. Uh, yeah, basically there was something I wanted to talk about that was on my mind, and I just felt like I needed to talk about it, and that's about, well, stories. Um, yeah. Um, as of recording this, I am almost done with my first draft of Blindsight, of it being titled Blindsight. It's not my first draft overall of Blindsight, because it was named by something else it's called United, which split to Clockwork Chronicles and Blindsight, and so yeah, it's like the story split. <laughs> so yeah, I've been working on Blindsight. And, yeah. That story's been going well. Um, it's still on, uh, like, early drafts. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but that's just a story. I already have an idea for another story. Um, and, yeah. Blindsight is basically about, um... A, a boy named Josiah who gets into a pretty bad accident and loses a lot of his vision and is diagnosed to be legally blind. And uh, it's not complete blindness, like nothing, because that's not what all blindness is. It's it's just a different perspective that I wanted to do. And I'm working on that. But there's also been something else I've always wanted to work at. Especially as a child. Especially when doing research for school assignments and for my own sake about church syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, when I've done research, there have been, well, there have been documents about it. And people talking about the genetics and the symptoms and all that. But. Honestly, when looking through, trying to find a perspective of somebody with church, I really looked deep trying to find something. I did find one, but it was a perspective of a mother talking about their child with church. Different from my own, but yeah. Which was something I was, well, it was nice, but it was a little disappointing. Because I wanted somebody to speak up and... Tell a story about their experiences and their feelings. Not through somebody else's lens, but their own. Like, and, well, not a lot of you will like this, but God gave me a gift of writing. And he gave me this syndrome, this variety of symptoms for a reason. And this urge to tell a story that will help somebody feel less lonely. Because truth be told, as a kid, I felt lonely because there weren't a lot of people with what I had. Like sure, there were people with charge somewhere in where I live, but honestly, good chance they're not here. And good chance, I don't know who they are. I don't know anything. I just know that I have charge and when growing up I felt lonely because not a lot of people have everything that I have or similar to what I have or I have a mild case. But that doesn't mean there's somebody who's like desperately looking for somebody who gets it. Somebody who understands like I did. I wanted some perspective of somebody with charge. To remind, to really remind me that, yeah, I'm not alone. I guess you can figure out where I'm trying to go with this. I just want to tell a story, my story. I just don't know where to start. I've already written some ideas down. But, you know, it's going to be a bigger project than something like Blindsight. I'm just really nervous. Because I don't know where it's going to go. <laughs> Even though I really shouldn't be. Because it's all under control. 
like what happens is what happens and yeah I have dreams about it all the time both good and bad hopeful and uncertain and uh, a lot of dreams about it and honestly I just don't know I know people would love to hear it I've heard many people want to hear it but it's just taking those steps I need encouragement motivation maybe yeah like a lot of people aren't afraid to tell their stories especially on YouTube <laughs> especially in book form I haven't seen a lot when it comes to stuff that not a lot of people know about not a lot of people understand and even though I do have charge I also have other things too there are people in my life who have influenced me. There are things in my life that have changed me to make me who I am. And I'm just trying to figure out how I want to tell it. Do I want to tell it in like an autobiography sort of form? Or do I want to tell it in a short story sort of form? In like stories, a collection of stories? Or do I want to do like a reflective sort of thing? Just chapter by chapter reflecting on specific stories and just trying to understand where I'm at now and how this sort of thing has affected me. It's like, what happened and how does it matter to me now? I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. It's just me trying to figure it out. I guess the only way to find out is to take that step. It just it feels overwhelming. Where do I start? If you guys have any ideas or any words of advice or anything, you can let me know in the comments. And if the comments are disabled, you can let me know on Twitter. Or just tag me on Twitter, too. That's fine, too. Um, yeah. I, I, I will eventually find it. Uh, yeah. You can even ask me on Discord or talk to me on Discord. On my Discord server. If you find it. But, yeah. Honestly, it's fine. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you had a good time and had a good day so far. And thanks for tuning in to watch this video. And yeah, I have noticed on my um, YouTube studio analytics stuff that most of you aren't subscribed. Most of you are new viewers coming in, seeing all the lovely world and um, Hermitcraft stuff that I do. So, if you are interested to see more stuff like this, and more lovely world, hermitcraft, even empires, uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to. And if you like the video, be sure to like it and share it with somebody. And, yeah. There's a lot of things that I could talk about, but it's the whole reason why I made the Living With Charge playlist, because... I wanted to talk about things with my disability and like have different variety stuff for you guys to watch. But yeah. Maybe Living with Charge is more of a book title than a <laughs> video playlist. Though it can be both. I have no problem with it being both. I do like that title though, Living with Charge. If I can incorporate that, that may be great. Thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one, whenever that might be. Goodbye.